Hi guys, what is up? This is Bar with Town and welcome back for another Dragon Ball Z Token Battle video. So, uh, for this video, now that part two of the AGL Kid Gohan celebration has dropped, I wanted to do a bit of a showcase about one of the units that came out with it. Um, so if you remember from part one, there was a new Heavenly Events, like a Garlic Junior um, story that we could do, and you could get an STR Piccolo from it. Uh, now that part two is here, that STR Piccolo has awakened into a Piccolo and Krillin unit, and they're pretty much solely focused around the Heavenly Events team. So what we'll do, um, we'll have a look at we'll, uh, what the Heavenly Events team looks like with the Mon, um, we'll see what impact they have and we'll kind of go from there. So this is the team that I've made here and this is the unit in question. So their leader skill, when you awaken them, becomes Heavenly Events category, key plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 50%. Probably a leader skill you're not going to use too often. Um, in terms of super attack, they raise attack and defense for one turn and cause supreme damage. And then their passive is here. So attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when Gohan Kid is on the team. So it's made to have the new um, Doken Fest Kid Gohan on there. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% and foresee enemy super attack when Gohan Kid is attacking in the same turn. So you get the, attack, the first attack and defense plus 100% just by having him on the team. But if you have him actually on rotation... If you have them on rotation together, you get a third lot of 100% attack and defense, and they get the ability to 4C super attack, which, as we know from previous videos, is a really OP ability. Um, and then on top of all that, Heavenly Events category, allies, key plus 3, and attack and defense are plus 30. So, <laughs> uh, all in all, they could be getting well over 300% attack and defense, they give everyone else attack, or they give everyone attack and defense plus thirty percent, and then when they super attack, um, they're raising their own attack and defense by another thirty percent. So it's pretty, pretty high multipliers. But if we have a look at their stats, they're not the highest stats. So I'm not actually going to hold my breath too much about the attack and defense stats that we see. Um, as you can see from the passive. This unit is made to be worked in tandem with the Kid Go One. You're not going to really use this unit, if ever, on a team that doesn't have a Kid Go on. And especially as they're heavenly event support, you, you wouldn't really want to either. Um, this is the Do Confessed Kid Go One. Um, as you can see, there's even the same Krillin and Piccolo in the background of his card art. So, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're definitely made to be run together. Um, what I figured we'd do, we'd do a couple of token events, um, and as before with the showcases, we might do a couple of stages of um, of the OG Goku event, just to get a feel for what he's like after a couple of turns, because token events don't tend to last too long, do they? But yeah, let's jump in. We're, we're going to try and see what these guys look like with Gohan on rotation and Gohan off rotation. Of course they're slot 7. Of course. Nah, that's fine. Okay. Well, so just by having this go, uh, the Piccolo and Krillin on the team, it activates this, um, the Kid Gohan's unit super attack so just by literally having them on the team as you can see they're not on rotation but just by having them on the team triggers it so Gohan stacks defense anyway but when you can activate his unit super attack he greatly raises attack for one turn so it does greatly improve the amount of damage he's doing Try and just run through these reasonably quickly. 
At least we've been able to avoid a couple of supers. So next turn we'll have the Piccolo and um, Krillin on rotation. I'm really interested to see what numbers they'll be putting up here. Gotenks rocking up with a 2.7 mil additional. Okay, so we have them on rotation. So let's have a look at their defense. 168k, that's not bad for a free-to-play unit. So this is, if we have a look at his passive, so we've got the Gohan on rotation. So we've got the automatic free 100%. We've got the additional 100%. And then we've got the third lot of 100% because we've got the Gohan actually on rotation with us. And then on top of that, that's key plus three and 30% attacking defense for the rest of the team as well. Um, he's going to gain more defense on his super as well. So he gains 30%. So just one super attack and he'd be well over 200k, maybe 230-ish. So, I mean, that's pretty good for a free-to-play unit. But bear in mind, this is probably him at his best. Um, we'll leave him in slot 1, I think. See what attack stat he can put up, just in case Gohan kills him. And you've got to bear in mind as well, that Piccolo and Krillin is getting defense from just having the, this Gohan around. I think it's 58%. Yeah, key plus 3 and 58%, so he's getting a lot, they're getting a lot of defense from just having the Gohan on rotation as well. So, let's see what attack stat we can get here. So there isn't an attack support on rotation other than the go other than the Piccolo and Krillin themselves. 1.29. Yeah, it's not massive, is it? Compared to Gohan's 3.3. .3. Um, that is them at their best. Unless we, we, we start m messing around with it, bringing silly support units that you probably don't really have on this team. So like we could bring a Turles or a Kid Boo to inflate it. Let's try and skip some super attacks here. Which I can't. <laughs> as it might be the end of this uh, of this unit here. But what I want to try and do is now I want to try and float the Gohan off rotation. And we'll just see what the Piccolo and Krillin look like when they've only got the first two lots of 100% attack and defense buffs. Might have to do that in the next token event. Transforming Vegeta is not putting up massive attack stats. The additional help, though. So, what links do the Piccolo and Krillin and Gohan share? None. So, for two units that you want to have on rotation together, they have zero links. So, it's probably going to be worked out in a way that you have it, your rotation something like this, and then maybe something in the middle besides Gotenks that links between the two. But, I mean, looking at that link set, you're not going to find much on the Heavenly Events team that has all those links. Um, we'll leave it like this. We can't avoid supers with anyone. So this Videl may well be dead. So 1.29, so yeah, that'll be the same. Uh, purely from, because we've still got that Gohan on rotation, we're still getting our maximum 300 plus the extra 30. This Gotex has looked pretty good. He, he's, he really improved following his EZA. He was completely unrunnable, pretty much. Um, and then since Gotex's EZA, he's become an absolute truck. 3.4 mil from Gohan. I, I really like this Gohan. He just feels really good to use. And that'll be the end of the event.
yeah, so we didn't get a chance to see them off rotation from Gohan. Um, what we'll do is we'll jump back into a different um, Dokkan event. And we'll hopefully get to see what we want to see. If anything, after that, I might just go into the Goku event, just because it's a bit longer. It gives us a bit more of a chance to get our rotation set. Because I don't think the numbers are going to change massively from what we see with and without. Uh, we'll use the same team for continuity. There's the Gohan. There we go. And slot seven again. Back to back slot sevens. Literally, what are the odds? So, we'll float this Gohan off so that when Piccolo comes around on slot seven, we're not going to have a Gohan on rotation. This will probably be this Goku dead between uh, between the Joint Forces unit and the Kid Gohan attacking. Oh, and the Gotenks. Yeah, this Goku's dead. I think this Piccolo and Krillin are most likely made to be a slot 3 unit. Um, I've given them a little bit of extra dodge just because I think even if you give them the extra crit chance, you're not going to get too much out of them. Whereas... I think they'll take a fair bit of damage as well, especially in difficult content. So I thought the dodge is probably a bit more valuable to them than using crit. Um, we'll float this Gohan off as well, because it means we'll then be able to get um, a Gohan on rotation with the Piccolo, and we can actually compare the difference in numbers. No, the Goku actually survived. Not for long, though. Vegeta's going to blast him. Okay, so we have Piccolo here. There's no other supports on rotation. We've got um, the Goku and Gohan, but they're a Goku's family support, so they're getting no buffs. Um, shattering the limit we have active now. Uh, defense has gone down to 114k with no support. So that's dropped, what, 60k now that we don't have Gohan on rotation? So Gohan support type buff is massive. Even though it's only defense, it has such a big impact on the team. Normally, you wouldn't have this guy in slot one, but for the sake of the showcase, it shouldn't, still shouldn't do too much. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So, one, one mil attack stat with no Gohan. What was it, 1.29 1, 1 with a Gohan? It's not much, is it? It's not amazing. But again, it's a free-to-play unit, so it's, it's here to buff the rest of the team from looking at their passive especially being the fact that they're a support type unit as well. Um, they do get better with Gohan in terms of usability. It's hard because this, this team doesn't have like a, um, a banner unit support type yet. And I think that would help the team because you, you couldn't bring this Piccolo and Krillin unit into difficult content, I don't think. I think they'd get smacked around and they'd get you killed pretty quick. So, what was it? A 1 mil attack stat and 110k defense. Let's go back and have a look with, uh, with a Gohan on rotation. And we'll have a look and see the difference. Okay, so this is the term we did want to see. Again, we know that um, the Pickle and Krillin and the Gohan don't actually link, which is quite annoying. Um, so, realistically, if you're running this team in any sort of content, you're not going to have them actually, the, the Gohan and the Piccolo and Krillin, you're not going to have them linking all next to each other. You're going to have it something like this because you'll be floating this support unit off. Um, so if we take a look, see what damage they put up. What defence are they looking at now? So back up to 168k defence. That's just because we've got Gohan and his passive uh, support type buff on rotation as well. 
Uh, let's see what attack stat they put up. I'm expecting it to be about the 1.29 again. Maybe a little bit more because we've got Shattering the Limit active. Double supers for this unit are huge if you've given them additional. I've gone for a good amount of additional on mine. Um, just because where they are raising attack and defense for one turn, if you get another stack of that in the same turn, your defense goes up by two lots of 30%, and your attack goes up by two lots of 30%, so that second attack is going to do a bit more damage as well. 1.36, so a little bit more than I thought it would. Um, still not great damage. Double super up to 1.43, so that, that looks a little bit better, doesn't it? And where they've double supered there, they'll be on, I'd say, near, near to 300k defense. So defensively, they're all right, but you have to have the go on rotation for them to look good. Um, on their own, you, you wouldn't use them outside of heavenly events. You wouldn't, you'd always try and have them on rotation um, with a go on. So you'd have them kind of, as a heavenly events team, you'd have a go on on each rotation and just have this as the floater unit. So that whatever rotation this guy is coming on, there's a, that Gohan there to give him the extra attack and defense. Other than that, I don't think the unit's too usable. Obviously, it's good to see this kind of unit, though. We haven't had a Piccolo and Krillin unit in the past. So it is good to see this, and it's good to see that they, they have branched out and used other characters from the Garlic Jr. story. Um, so yeah, definitely good thought, definitely good idea. I'm glad that it does provide a bit more, a few more units to the category. Um... And yeah, but we'll see if we use them in the future. I definitely encourage people to get these guys done, though. Um, same with all free-to-play units. You never know what they might be useful for in the future. So definitely get these guys done. If you're free-to-play and you don't have kind of a, a very packed Heavenly Events team, this, this unit will definitely help you out. It's definitely a good place to start. Um, so again, this is Teamwork for Victory, Piccolo and Krillin, um, free-to-play unit. They've just recently awakened. Go get them done. Um, I've kind of seen everything that I wanted to from this video. Um, we've seen attack stats with and without Gohan and defense stats with and without Gohan. Definitely want Gohan on rotation with this guy. Um, but for the video, I, I've kind of seen everything that I wanted to see from there, so I'm happy to call it quits there. Um, if you've liked what you've seen, like, follow, subscribe. For those of you that are watching today on Twitch, um, we're having the community race at 5 o'clock UK time. I think it's like 5 BST, I think that's the time zone. So if you're watching on YouTube or you're watching on Twitch and you want to get involved in the community race at 5 o'clock UK time, head over to my Twitch channel and we'll get a community race going for the Goku event using a Goku family team. So if you haven't been there before, by all means come check it out. Um, but if not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.